How to set up a foot switch for hands-free control. Any MIDI controller can be set to control the player. We'd recommend a minimum of three buttons to control playing and starting songs and jumping forwards or backwards on the song timeline. For cable-free operation, Bluetooth foot controllers like the IK Rig Blueboard for Mac and iPad and the Positive Grid BT4, which is a Bluetooth controller for iPad only, can work well. Any simple MIDI USB controller should work. Things like the Behringer FCB1010 MIDI foot controller, which connects via a MIDI cable, and the Action 8 metal button USB controller for Mac or PC. Plus you can use separate pedals such as the Toman volume and expression pedal. Note that these are not our products, so we're unable to provide in-depth technical support for their use. This video shows the IK Rig iRig Blueboard. The first step to use any MIDI controller is to get it connected to your device, either via a cable or using Bluetooth. With this controller, the connection is made via its own app. So you'll need to follow the manufacturer's instructions for your controller. Once you've got your controller connected, you'll need to ensure that it's sending program changes and not control changes. Again, you'll need to do this in a third-party app. Use this app to select a MIDI channel. We'll use channel 1. Once these steps are completed, you can open the Worship Backing Band player. From here, the steps should be the same for all devices. Open the settings screen and select Pedal Control. Select the tick box for MIDI on the right-hand side of the screen and slide the number wheels next to the tick box to match the MIDI channel you selected in your MIDI control app. In this case, channel 1. Press one of the foot switch buttons on your controller. So in this case, I'm going to press the A button and on my controller, the button will light up blue. Then in the Worship Backing Band app, press the square soft button directly to the left of the command you'd like the foot switch to perform. So in this case, backup section. If you want more choices, click the text with the command and a pop-up menu will appear. After you press the soft button, the small white number wheels next to the command should change to show the MIDI command assigned to that action. As you press the foot switch repeatedly, the soft button should light on and off to confirm that the button is assigned. Repeat these steps, so pressing the button on your controller and then assigning it with the soft button next to the command that you want to control for your remaining foot switches. If you've got four pedals, our preferred choices are these, so button A, back up a section, button B, start or loop playback, button C, advance selection, and button D, group mute on or off. But you can experiment with your own assignments. Test that the foot controller and the worship backing band app are communicating by dragging a song into the playlist area and using the foot switch buttons to control the functions you've chosen. If you have one or more expression pedals plugged into your MIDI controller, you can assign these in a similar manner. Worship Backing Band will save your settings. When you restart, remember to run your MIDI control app in the background and then run the Worship Backing Band app. Note again that foot switches are not our products, so we're unable to provide in-depth technical support for their use.